Hey, YouTube family, it's your host, Eric Coffey here, bringing tips, tricks, tools for government contracting. This week is Sources Sought Notices. We're going to take a look at what came out this particular past week, all the opportunities, and we're going to have a brief conversation about it. So let's go to our handy dandy beta.sam.gov and take a look at what opportunities came out this week that maybe be of interest to some people. I'm going to go to past week. Hit filter. By the way, went to contract opportunities. I hit search. And then let's go and sort by type of notice. Sources sought. And interesting enough, 601. I actually made this video this morning. However, I forgot to do the volume thing. And I know a lot of people complain about my volume being low. So I had to really scrap that video and start over again. But nevertheless, we are here. Uh, today is the 14th of August. And we're looking at source sort of notices and seeing if there's anything good, interesting that may have come out. Uh, so far, there's, oh, adult sports officials? Hmm, sounds like coaches. Let's take a look at that real quick and see if, what that means, uh, what they're looking for, and if we can help them in some kind of way. A uh, contract for adult sports service requirement. Hmm, one year contract, four options. It's a draft PWS, performance work statement for those of you who don't know what PWS is. Let's take a look at what they're asking for. I think this is interesting. Earlier when I was pulling this up and I did the video the first go around, uh, they had on here a some pole bars, which I found interesting because it reminded me of the pole bars that you use for ballerinas when the ballerinas, you know, do the thing on the poles. And uh, I remember, because I, I dated this girl who was a ballerina, and I actually built two of them in my house using concrete bucket. Well, using a bucket that I put concrete in. I stuck a 4x4 four four in, filled it with concrete, and then I put two of those on the side, and then I ran the pole across so that they could do the, like the ballet moves and stuff, their pivots and all those things. I actually built that in my apartment in college. Fun fact. Uh, this one's talking about adult sports officials intramural. Ah, so it, I was right. It's intramural sports. This is interesting. When I, when I see this, I think about my boy Kwame. He was over here worried about construction contracts, but look, they've got on here intramural sports. They're looking for two certified officials for intramural games, one scorekeeper for intramural games. Wow, it looks like you're going to be providing coaches, scorekeepers, and certified officials. Uh, this is exciting stuff. Um, a five-year contract, National Collegiate Athletic Association, rules. This is cool. If you've or, and, and, you know, the funny thing is that the people who actually do this type of business, this type of services, are not looking on Beta Sam for opportunities. And this is what I say. That's why it creates a world of opportunities for those of out here who are looking into this uh, type of methodology as a way of building their business. Or, again, if you're COVID at home and you're trying to figure out how to make some extra money, mm, this might work. Relocate building SCIF, sources out for small businesses. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yes, yeah, small businesses, 8A hub zone, service stable, capable manufacturing, relocation buildings, 1,000 square feet. Uh, something definitely a lot of us can do. Who can't relocate a building? It's pretty easy. Um, delivered to Guantanamo Bay. Wow. I've never been to Guantanamo Bay. Um, that just put a little bit of a challenge into the project. So uh, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna look at that. But if you are interested, that is there. We're you know there's 600 plus one opportunities. We're gonna kind of do this a fast way. So let's download this CSV file. Click download, and let's pull it up on our screen over here. And let's go to our other screen and take a look at what we have. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So let me see what we have here. Okay. Ba -ba -bum. And I actually have the wrong p this file up, so I'm going to switch files real quick on my computer. Okay. Now I got the right one up. All right. We have on here the notice ID. Let's just make sure you can see all the stuff on the screen. Let me hide some of my columns for everybody out there. All right, can we see? Why is it notice ID not coming up? Let me see if I can grab this over here. 
Unlock it. Move it over. Nope. Still not working. Hmm. Okay. All right. You can see the notice ID. Great. Okay. Now we can see the notice ID. We can see the titles. All right. Let's go have some fun. Take a look at what they have for us. Uh, let's look at a couple of these and we'll go back and forth. We looked at the adult sports officials. We look at that the relocate buildings. Uh, there's a Connex intermodal container that they need. Sets of snap-on tools. Construction services for some wing walls in Maine. Let's see if there's anything else exciting. RFI for Comet IDIQ. That's interesting. Sign language and support services. I'm I'm sure someone out here knows folks that offer sign language and support services. Let's see what else. Licensed vocational nurse. If you have a staffing company that provides nurses, um, let's see. Dun dun dun. Seven thousand pound low capacity lift truck. We know we have people out here that move freight that have trucks. Bum bum bum. Logistics management services. Um, something to look at. Let me. Let's just go into this one. Let's pull it up. Let's actually take a look at this one. So let's go back to the other screen, and let's type in our keyword. All right, logistics manager services. I just copied and pasted that. Logistics management services contract. NASA comes up. Uh, Ames Research Center, ARC. I know that place. They have an IDIQ from one to five million. It's a single or hybrid contract, predominantly a firm fixed price for routine recurring services. Refer to as the core and small IQ portion against the uh, FFP task orders. Um, I don't see what it says you're doing. Okay, here we go. Contract services include supply management, equipment management, support, property disposal, support, janitorial service, refuse and recyclable materials, removal, um, managed service, reproduction, graphic services. I know some folks that are in our GovCon Giants group that can actually do this contract. Definitely, I'm going to make sure that they receive this information. Uh, Natasha, make sure you guys get this information. This is something that I think is very interesting because it does involve janitorial services, uh, removing debris, some shipping, mail center servicing. Pretty basic stuff out there. So I think we've got some folks that we want to make sure we get this in the hands of some of our people that do this. All right, let's keep going. So that was interesting. Patient lift upgrade. Any, let's see, anything else that we can pull out that's exciting that came out this week? Laundry services. Again, um, I have friends of mine that own laundry mats. I guarantee you that my friends that own laundromats are not coming here on this website looking for opportunities. So if you have a friend or you know someone that has a laundromat, or if you don't and you want to reach out to someone who has a laundromat, and this is in or around your area, your region, this is could be something that's very lucrative where you provide these services uh, or that you help coordinate, right? So you put the whole thing together, find out from the person what it would cost, how much laundry they're getting in here. In fact, let's pull it up. Let's just take a look at it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. So let's go back over here. Let's pull it up. Go back to search. Let's take away this one. Let's pull this one up. Laundry services. Okay. V VA hospital. Place performance. I don't know what zip code that is. 93703, but we can figure that out. Where that's at in the USA. All right. Oh, it looks like Fresno, California. Okay. And it tells you, I'm sure it's going to tell you inside when we pull up the documents, how much of the stuff that they want clean, how often, uh, the types of things that, that you have to clean and whatnot. So, look, there's opportunities out here uh, for everyone, for everyone, for everyone. Let's keep scrolling. I mean, we're at, look, there's 600 plus, right? We're only in the top 100. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here for leasing office space for all of my realtors out here. Oh, here's the pillow bars I was talking about uh, that when I talked about the ballerina. Office space in Gainesville, Florida. Doo, doo, doo. Apple Mac Pros for all of my tech people that sell, resell apples and computers and electronics.
floor removing and installation. I know people that do flooring. Maria does flooring. Janitorial services, temporary staffing for the next 120 days. Who doesn't want that? Everyone out there, I hear janitorial, janitorial. I do janitorial. Why are you not responding? Respond. They may give you an actual sole source. If you respond to this, it's highly likely that the government's going to consider you janitorial housekeeping, custodial work, 120, next 120 days, procedures for the fall of the center of disease control, Gulf Coast Veterans Healthcare System. Where are you at? Where is this at? Where is it at? Where is my place of performance? A lot of stuff to read, but again, this is just telling you the stuff that you have to do. Clean, wash dishes, sinks, <laughs> wash dishes. Sorry, I have to wash dishes. Uh, window interior, cleaning, blade, blind shades, directory boards, glass doors, display cases, window sills, door frames, ledges, handrails, etc. There's seven inches floor or more. Furniture. Okay. Contracting offices out of Mississippi. Where's the place of performance? Did it tell me? Place performance in the PWS. I'm going to pull this up only because I know there's so many people out here that do janitorial. I'm going to save you the time, and I'm going to actually read it for you off on the screen uh, for all of you folks out here who don't want to take up the time and do it. You'd rather watch me on the video tell it for you. So we're going to, while that's pulling up, we'll go back to our screen and we'll keep going. And let's see what else is going on out here. Make my janitorial people wait a little bit more. Well, by the way, if you want to look it up, it's right here. Here's the number. You can look it up. 36C25620Q1141. All right. I'm looking. I'm looking. Survey, mapping, and geospatial services. Architect and engineer. IDIQ. I know people that do geospatial services. I know people that do survey mapping. Geotechnical services, A&E, IEC contract. Uh, I know the geotechnical people that... The people that offer geotechnical services are not here looking opportunities. The majority of this is the people who actually perform this type of work. They don't have business development folks scouring beta.sam.gov for opportunities. Um, normally what happens is a large company is scouring this stuff. They grab it and then they outsource it to the smaller guy and they make the spread. Some people call it middleman. Some people call it prime subcontract relationship. It doesn't matter what you call it. The point is if you're watching me and you've made it this far in the video, you have an opportunity to create a path for yourself to generate income for yourself because why? You're paying attention and you've made it this far. This one that was interesting, this car washing one. All right, let's see. So it looks like this other one might be back up again. Um, the PWS one that we talked about for my janitorial folks. All right, it's pulling it up on the screen. I'm looking at it. I have no way of showing it to you as of now. Oh, actually I do. Hold on. Let me switch screen. I'm going to switch screens so I can show you this. All right, this is the PDOS I'm looking at that I pulled up for the temporary staffing for janitorial. I just want to know where it's at so I can tell some people. Okay. I don't want to hold up the entire video trying to figure out where this thing is at. All right, looks like they're going to make you have to figure this thing out. Oh, here we go. Place of performance, Pensacola, Florida, and Mobile, Alabama. Ooh. I know some people that can do this. All right, this is good. We're going to save this. We have some folks in our group that can actually jump on this. Um, so this is perfect. I'm going to pull, go back to... Uh, the express spreadsheet that we're looking at and uh, work on it. So, cool. All right, going back to this. This one was really interesting. The exterior car wash was interesting because um, 
what, what it says exterior wash. I'm sorry. I, I I remember I made this video earlier, so I'm a little bit wacky, and it's it's Friday. It's eight thirty at night, so um, you know. Uh, but I did want to make sure we've got this content out today, uh, considering that when I after I downloaded it and played it back, the sound was horrible. Uh, but on this exterior wash, the reason why I think this is important, we're gonna we're gonna go back over to the other screen, and I'm gonna pull it up for you because the reason why I thought the exterior wash was interesting is I wanted to show to the level of who can get involved. I had someone reach out to me and it says they're starting a pressure washing business, and this seemed right up their alley. If you do pressure washing, if you know people that do pressure washing, window washing, car washing, this seemed right up their alley. It said exterior wash and at Maxwell Air Force Base. And what they're asking for is to wash the exterior of aircraft and also do the interior cleaning services that were required. Again, folks that do you know, pressure washing, exterior washing, car washing, they're not likely to be here on Beta Sam looking at opportunities. So this is why we uh, present this to folks out here and share. Sharing is caring. But also we want to help people be able to see the vast degree of what actually exists. And the other thing is, because a lot of people ask me this, they say, Eric, I'm looking on FBO, they say FBO, but I'm looking on Beta Sam and I don't see anything in my industry and my business. This is right now currently a source of sub. If you are in that area and you qualify and you meet the requirements, this may never become an actual solicitation. They may sole source it directly to you, and that happened to one of my students just in the last few weeks ago. Uh, he responded to an RFI, and they sole sourced him a contract. I do this all the time. I respond to RFIs, and they sole source me contracts. So this may actually never come out to become a solicitation because someone like myself took the initiative, respond to the RFI, and start doing a direct negotiation with the government. They can do that. Remember, at this phase, at this stage, it is not a solicitation. They're doing market research. And when they're doing market research, they have the ability to be able to shape requirements and or decide that they want to uh, put it out in a different manner. Likely, this is, might be simplified acquisition. Uh, I'm not sure if it's SAP, but it's highly likely that it is. And if that's the case, they can uh, decide to go another route. So let's continue on. I don't want to drag on too long in this video. We're already at 17 minute mark. Uh, I'll do one more example. There's, as you can see, there's 600 plus things here. Let's look at this one, the last one on the screen, which is markmanship. We're going to copy, paste. We're going to go back here. And we're going to pull up markmanship. We're going to take a look. And, and this is cool. It's, I mean, th this one happens to be United States Army Europe. USAREUR, our area of operations, source of thought. And what they're looking for is for someone to create, and this is really cool because I know people that create simulations, I know people that create training programs. They want you to train on the skills using, use, use, training on these skills through the use of simulators provides significant savings in time, money, and statistical analysis of the effect of, of training, combat marksmanship. Acquired skills, properly recognized, categorized, and engage in all environmental threats while moving, turning, stationary, and all using non-standard firing positions. Uh, minimum of three stations required, created. So again, if this is if this is your gig and this is what you do, hold on. All right, and, um, and if this is your gig and this is what you do. Uh, it, was, it most certainly, or if you know someone that does this, it, it, it most certainly should be pressed upon you to respond. It, it, it makes no sense to wait or think that by waiting until a formal solicitation is released, by waiting until a formal um, project comes out for bid, that this is even going to happen. Um, it doesn't always happen, folks. These do not always turn into full and open competition or even small business set aside bids. This is why I'm encouraging to get in at this basic level here when the only thing they're asking is respondents, interested respondents, right? Respond in company name, point of contact, cage and duns, information about the product or services as it meets requirements annotated in this source of thought which includes a brochure, white paper, pamphlet, and or other information content. By the way, on our one of our upcoming Monday's YouTube Lives Mastermind topics, we're going to discuss writing a white paper. 
So again, this closes out this week's Source of Sought Notices. All of the links and everything that we discussed today will be in the show notes as well. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Make sure, again, if you like this content, if you like what you see, if you get a chance or you feel in your heart to donate to us, because again, we're going ad-free until the end of the fiscal year, and we're hoping that we can make up the revenues by people like yourself, wonderful people supporting us, especially those who made it all the way to the end. Thanks so much. Enjoy. Share it. Free, free, free to the democratization of information. Give it away for free so that other people don't sell it. Thanks so much. See ya.